To other news now, at least one political commentator is calling for the Attorney General to resign after the Supreme Court struck down the law under which the national ID system is to be implemented. The Constitutional Court ruled that the National Identification and Registration Act is null and void, unconstitutional, and has no legal effect. So is the government facing a dilemma? It's arguably the third constitutional blunder by the Andrew Hulness administration, which led to public outcry. First, there were the pre-signed, undated letters of resignation for senators, which the court declared null and void, the temporary appointment of the Chief Justice, and now, the Supreme Court throwing out the National Identification and Registration Act. For attorney Nicole Gordon. I do have a concern regarding how constitutional matters um, have been treated uh, by the administration. This is not the first time. On this occasion, the opposition, civil society, and other stakeholders pointed to issues with the NIDS bill. And if the Bar Association, a credible organization, raises concerns, then it's some regard some serious regard ought to be had to, to, to those concerns. And yet it appears that that was ignored. Those things affect how it is that government relates to the people. Political commentator Dr. Paul Ashley was more forthright, placing the blame at the feet of Attorney General Marlene Malahu Fort for giving bad legal advice. She too represented the government during the NIDS case. It seems to me that she had a hand in its creation and she sought to defend it herself. Uh, normally, these things would be handled by the Solicitor General. I would say that in the Westminster Whitehall, a uh, tradition. He should offer a resignation given that she put her, her signature on this move. You know, and I'm saying this is the uh, last in a long line of what would consider a bad, bad advice be given to the government. Meanwhile, the private sector organization of Jamaica, the Jamaica Manufacturers and Exporters Association, and the Jamaica Chamber of Commerce are urging the government and opposition to begin consultations on the National Identification and Registration Act. The organizations say they should settle differences in the law and avoid provisions which offend the Constitution. They also want the bill to return to Parliament as soon as possible. Ms. Gordon also suggested more discussions which may include a joint select committee. I hope that um, given how comprehensive the ruling was, I hope that you know there will be no appeal to the ruling. Um, but again, at the very core of it, I think the government has to understand a very basic point, listen to the people. So that alone should say, revisit the thing, revisit it, and then move forward.